Code Pro channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain how XML HTTP request will work in JavaScript. There are quite few options are there to make an API call in JavaScript. The possible options are XML HTTP request which was included in 2000s and Fetch API it was included in ES6 2015 and the third party library Axios was, Axios was there and also if you are using any Angular framework the built-in HTTP client client module was there we can call XML HTTP request is the browser built-in object in JavaScript not only ES5 or ES6 in any version we can use XML HTTP request why we are still using XML HTTP request is it support all modern browsers and older browsers also still the fetch API was not supporting for IE so we are still using XML HTTP request for IE, IE browsers so how we can use XML HTTP request so what are the built built-in objects in javascript how you can see that just you can console dot console console it as window property what are the built-in objects we can see it here just this is the console here if you open it if you scroll down to bottom here you can see xml HTTP request this is an object this is a function you need to create an object with that function how we can create an object with that so these are all possible these are all built-in browser objects in JavaScript because here I am going to create an ob object with XML HTTP request let XHR equal to I have, I have just created an object with XML HTTP request but I need to make an API call right so just you need to open it there are different options just you can see it here it console console dot log of xhr what are the possible methods are there in in that you can see here to make an api call in the prototype we'll use this open method this is a function you need to pass two parameters to it just i am opening it here i am removing the console here xhr dot open this is a method we need to pass two parameters to it so here you can see it is asking two arguments required but only zero present i am passing it to it first is the method name what method you want to perform i am performing get operation and what is the url for it just you need to open the here in this in this video i am going to use json placeholder this is the free online rest api fake online rest api we can use it for making xml http requests i just made it i just opened it but i haven't sent any request if the request was sent just you can see here you are able to see here but the request was not sent how to send a request xhr dot send now you can see it in the console it was the request was sent for the server view you can see here this is the data I requested from the server I am able to see it in the network tab but how I can see it in the browser or I, I, how I can see it in the console tab so how I can get the data is just xhr dot onload method is there this method will be called once the request was completed equal to this is a method xhr dot response now you are able to see it in the console this is the data you are able to see just I got the data in the text format now the default format from the XML HTTP request was the text format you need to convert it to a JSON JSON. how we can convert is json.parse now you are able to see it in the JSON format and also you can also ask that how I can show it in the window like how I can show it in the browser document now I am able to see it in here right just I will make I will remove this just I am copying this I'm removing the console and I am placing it in the document like document dot write just I am including it like this Now you can see once the API call was success, we are able to see the data here, but it was not readable format, right? So how we can make that readable format is 
just you need to wrap into the pre tags i am using the back ticks here pre tag dollar curly braces now you are able to see it right this is the exact data you are able to see it in the browser also how to handle the errors in xml http request this is the main thing when you are using any xml http request how to make it just i am removing the console here just i am console it console it as xhr what the xhr in the onload function here you can see this xml http request with this is the response whatever i have requested you can see this is the main thing this is the status code as 200 right based on this we need to write a condition to print the error we need to handle the error right for that when the error will come if you pass a wrong url like some wrong url if it doesn't exist then it returns 404 then now you are able, you can see what is the status of it this is the 404 only if it is 200 then the request was success and you you got the data that's why how to handle it if xhr dot status equal to 200 then console dot log of xhr dot response else in the else condition if other than 200 status code you need to write else condition to handle the error just console dot log off i am using the back ticks here again error xhr dot now you can see the error is a 404 it doesn't go to the if condition because we are comparing with the 200 status this is a, this is the way you can handle the errors in xml http request here we have an another option called on error method in xml http request how we can use it is xhr dot on error the same way how you can use on load method this is also same way xhr dot on load method on error method here just i am console dot log as xhr when this method will be called you can see I am getting the error here again 1 2 3 4 but still I am not able to see the 13th line of it because the on error method will not be called for every failure it will call only for the network failures so for example I am just disconnecting my internet connection here this time turning off my Wi-Fi now I am requesting the same again now you can see in the 13th line you are able to see it right for the network network failure requests then this console will be printed this is one this is not much useful you can you need to handle the errors in xhr dot onload function only that's it thank you